diabetes project that we're working on is to identify uh, patients who come in to our diabetes clinic who may have genetic forms of diabetes. Um, and the goal is to identify these patients and, and work with them and, and enroll them in our study. And uh, once we do that, the goal is to identify what the causative genes might actually be. What we think the, the main problem is when a patient has a genetic form of diabetes is probably that the cells that normally make insulin, which is a hormone that regulates blood sugar, those cells don't work properly anymore because of that genetic mutation. That's our hypothesis. And what we're going to do is we're going to make stem cells from that patient. We're going to turn them into beta cells and ask the very simple question, how is that genetic change in that patient causing those beta cells to, to lose their function. This basic science has made a huge impact in the translational avenues that we can take, um, understanding congenital birth defects, trying to grow replacement tissues from stem cells, uh, understanding the, the genetic basis of, of diseases. And that's all been possible because this place has supported basic research and continues to support basic research because that is the pipeline of discovery. If we don't have basic research, we're not going to end up creating new therapies. And, and Children's Hospital in Cincinnati gets that. <laughs>